The five vertices of the Pentagon have witnessed the birth of many clandestine projects, weapons and aircraft that the world doesn't even know exists. While most of these developments remain top secret until utilized in battle and are identified as black projects, a very few are revealed to the curious public. Amongst the recently revealed is the most feared secret weapon that has gripped the hearts of several nations with fear due to its advanced capabilities and destructive features. What is this U.S. most secret weapon that just got released? Which of its capabilities makes it the most feared weapon ever developed? Join us as we dive into the intriguing capabilities of the most feared secret weapon that the U.S. just released. The United States is famous for the development of the world's most powerful, lethal, and destructive weapon, and sometimes keeping their existence a secret can sometimes be a tactic to overpower an unsuspecting rival with advanced technologies. For instance, the development of the most feared secret weapon, the F-35 Lightning. This next-generation fighter jet came as a game-changer that solved many of these problems and limitations that were experienced with other older generation aircrafts. Interestingly, the motive for creating the F-35 can be dated back to the 90s, post-Cold War and after the dissolution of the Soviet Union. The Pentagon went on a quest to develop a more cost-effective and versatile fighter jet, and just as you guessed, the quest resulted in the development of the F-35. The Joint Strike Fighter, or JSF, program had one primary objective, which was to create a single aircraft that embodied stealth, lightweight design, ease of operation, and adaptability for both Navy and Marine Air Force use. However, it faced the challenge of developing a single family of aircraft that could do it all. The stakes of the JSF program increased, especially after the consideration of it involving allies sharing development and manufacturing costs. On the surface, it seemed like a win-win situation. Unfortunately, these requirements, while excellent in theory, were complex and ever-evolving. They resembled solving a million-piece puzzle without the picture on the box, achievable but time-consuming, and the full picture only emerged towards the end. The F-35 Lightning II, made by Lockheed Martin, is an American fighter jet that can do lots of different jobs. It can fly in any weather and is hard for enemies to detect. It's meant to be really good at both fighting other planes and attacking targets on the ground. It can also help with electronic warfare and gathering information about what's happening around it. Lockheed Martin is the main company building the F-35, but they work with other big companies like Northrop Grumman and BAE Systems. Lockheed Martin emerged victorious with their X-35 concept after an intense competition with Boeing. Lockheed's track record, having designed the world's first stealth fighter, the F-117 Nighthawk, and the first fifth-generation fighter, the F-22 Raptor, made them seem like the right fit for the job. The seemingly impossible task of meeting the Air Force, Navy, and Marine Corps needs led Lockheed to develop three F-35 variants, the F-35A, F-35B, and F-35C. The F-35A features an internal 25mm cannon and internal weapons bay. When it came to the Marines' F-35B variant, the challenge was raised even further. It had to perform short takeoffs and vertical landings, similar to the famous Harrier jump jet. In an unexpected partnership that began in 1991 amidst the collapse of the Soviet Union, the Russian aircraft manufacturer Yakovlev was developing the Yak-141, an advanced iteration of the Yak-38 fighter. The Yak-38 had been outperformed in nearly every aspect by its British rival, the Harrier. The new Yak-141 aimed to bring substantial improvements, but due to the Soviet Union's demise, Yakovlev needed a partner to fund the final stages of research. That's when Lockheed entered the scene, secretly collaborating with Yakovlev. 
With an infusion of $400 million, they built three prototypes and one static test aircraft, providing Lockheed with the foundation they needed for their F-35B version. The last variant, the F-35C, was designed for catapult-assisted takeoff and arrested recovery, which is often referred to as carrier ops for naval operations. This model is designed with larger folding wings, a tail hook, and a nose wheel tow bar for catapult attachment. As the Joint Strike Force program progressed, it encountered several challenges, especially in the early 2000s. At this point, Russia developed its very own MiG-35, which was the successor of the MiG-29, while China's J-10 Dragon became fully operational. Tensions between these developed countries even escalated further as China and Russia, the United States' rivals, began the development of their own next-generation fighter, the Su-57 Felon and the J-20 Dragon, respectively. While many other countries were contemplating purchasing the F-35, some other nations were trying to decide which to buy. It is not surprising that the program faced several criticisms because some thought it was too big and complicated, while others had issues with the fact that it costs a lot. Also, the processes that were involved in the development of these aircrafts and testing them made the changes required very expensive. Eventually, the formidable weapon started flying in 2006 and was operational in different parts of the United States military over the years. The Marines began using their own version in July 2015, and the Navy joined in February 2019. However, Israel was the very first to use it in combat in 2018. If you're wondering what makes this fighter jet a feared one, stick around as we delve into its interesting details. The F-35 is a group of fighter jets that makes use of one powerful engine that propels it very fast and makes it hard to detect. This fighter jet is designed to be hard to spot, and it is equipped with really advanced technology that will help the pilot to see what's happening around and even allow them to attack targets that's far away. With these characteristics, it's no wonder that it is the United States' main jet for attacking enemy defenses because it has really good sensors and systems to be efficient in any mission. The aircraft has a special design with its wings and tail set up in a particular way to make it hard to be spotted by radar. It has different parts on its wings and tails, like flaps and rudders that help it to control its flight. The aircraft is shaped in a stealthy way, and this was achieved by shaping the airframe carefully and using special materials that absorb radar visibility. The way air enters the jet's engine helps to reduce its radar signature. Also, the F-35 works to reduce other types of detection, like infrared and visual signals, and controls its radio frequency emissions to avoid detection. While it is hard for high-frequency radars to spot this aircraft, it is very possible for low-frequency radars to detect it, but they are not very accurate. In order to make this aircraft harder to spot by any type of radar at all, the developers equipped it with special reflectors. However, the noise produced by the F-35 has not gone unnoticed, especially by the residents living near potential bases. The noise can be compared to those made by older fighters like the F-16. The developers have noted this anomaly, especially for a next-generation fighter, and have included ways to reduce the noise it produced, which would improve its stealth capacity. Now, to the cockpit of this stealth aircraft, the developers designed it in such a way that helps the pilot be aware of what is going on around him, and not just limited to his forward vision alone. It has a wide screen that displays important information like flight instruments and, most importantly, warnings. Also, the pilot can change how the information is arranged to his own preference. There is also a smaller screen below the big one that is used for emergencies. The cockpit is automated, and in this sense, there is a system that helps it to recognize the pilot's voice. Instead of having information displayed before them, the pilot can choose to wear a special helmet that shows all the necessary information. This helmet is so sophisticated that it can even show things like night visions 
and infrared images, which helps the pilot to see clearly, even in difficult situations. The cockpit is designed in such a way that the pilot can aim and fire missiles even if they are not looking directly at the target. However, some problems were noticed during the development of the helmet, so a backup plan was made using traditional night vision goggles. Fortunately, these traditional helmets were no longer needed when the needed improvements were made to the helmet. Inside the jet are special compartments where different weapons can be stored without distorting the stealth design of the aircraft and also without being easily seen by radar. Some of the weapons are heavy bombs and missiles for engaging ground targets, while the others are air-to-air -air missiles that are used in fighting other aircrafts. There are also compartments for flares, chaff and tow decoys to confuse enemy radar. Guess what? Aside from the insides compartments, there are also outer compartments where the F-35 can carry weapons on its winds, and this doest affect its stealthiness either. It has pylons on the tips of its wings where it can attach missiles for air-to-air -air combat. Also, there are points on the wings which can be used to carry larger weapons, like cruise missiles that can fit inside the compartments. Understanding the limitations that came with the fighter jet, there were plans put in place to upgrade it with more advanced weapons and technology, including the ability to carry more missiles internally and externally. They were also considering the possibility of adding hypersonic missiles and laser weapons in the future. Now, to the most important part of the aircraft, its propulsion system. As stated earlier, the F-35 is powered by Pratt and Whitney called the F-135. This engine produces a lot of power, especially when using an afterburner which helps the aircraft to go very fast. Although this engine was also used to power the F-22, it underwent some upgrades that made it more efficient and less visible to radar. For the F-35B variant, there is an additional system called the shaft-driven fan, which was made by Lockheed Martin and Rolls-Royce. This system helps the plane to take off and land vertically by pushing air downwards. It is different from older vertical takeoff systems, like the one used in the Harrier jet. Another engine that would have been used to replace the current one was cancelled due to funding issues. The F-35 engine was also part of the upgrade plans. Other upgrades include developing engines that can change performances based on the situation and making the existing engine more efficient. Some of these upgrades are already being tested and would be a part of the F-35 future. A little diversion from the proposed upgrades, the F-35 is made to be easier to maintain than other older aircrafts that were made to be stealthy. Most of its parts can be replaced without having to dissemble the entire body, and this makes it easily fixed. The material used on its skin that helps to absorb radar waves is stronger and easier to handle than those on older stealthy planes. Also changes were made to prevent corrosion on the F-35's skin, and its controls uses a different system that can be powered by batteries in emergency. Originally, the F-35 was supported by ALIS, which is a computer system that was meant to help with the maintenance of the aircraft, but this computer system posed several problems, so it got replaced by a new system called the ODN, which is based on the cloud, literally. This ODIN computer system has been tested at several military bases and is expected to be so much better than the ALIS, which had several issues. Back to the upgrades made on the F-35. The upgrade journey started in the 1990s and continued until the mid-20s. The upgrade stood as a critical foundation for the next stage in digital fighter architecture evolution, known as Block 4. These new upgrades that were equipped on the fighter jet with a more robust processing system boast new computer processors for increased computing power and a larger memory drive. It also embraces an open system architecture that facilitates agile software development for future seamless updates. Block 4 works by enhancing battle space awareness with an improved widescreen display and navigation upgrades that enable a quicker response time in maritime settings. However, 
The journey continues with three additional phases, focusing on weaponry and engines. The F-35 now boasts 17 additional weapons, which makes it more feared, and a powerful adaptive cycle engine jointly developed by General Electric and Pratt and Whitney. These upgrades altogether help to bolster the aircraft's operational flexibility and expand its reach. Furthermore, this next-generation fighter jet is perfect in interdomain communication, offering advanced interoperability and networking improvements that enable seamless information sharing across military domains. In the 21st century, one example of this concept in action is the remotely operated Video Enhanced Receiver, or Rover, which allows ground forces to view real-time footage from aircraft or unmanned aerial vehicles, enhancing coordination and situational awareness. These upgrades are testaments that the F-35 has found an effective way to remain important and effective in modern-day combat, by warding off aggression that would prove fatal for most other aircraft from other countries, except perhaps the Su-57. In a direct confrontation, that would be obscured by its own cloud of smoke. The entire class of fifth-generation aircraft heavily relies on stealth capabilities, an area where both the F-35 and the Su-57 are perfect in. Lockheed Martin made sure that the aircraft could diligently minimize infrared and visual signatures that could reflect radar waves and implemented stringent controls over radio frequency emitters. All of these elements combined to give the F-35 an incredibly small radar cross-section, even smaller than that of a metal golf ball. But in response to the stealth capability of the F-35, the Su-57, which is the first aircraft in Russian military service with such advanced features, was also designed with aligned edges and angled control surfaces on the leading and trailing edges of its wings, which made it stealthy. Additionally, its developers made use of serrated skin panels to reduce the number of angles at which radar waves can be reflected. Both the F-35 and the Su-57 aircraft feature advanced stealth technologies, but they take different approaches. Despite the fact that the Su-57 design was inspired by the Lockheed's F-22, some changes were made to make it better and also efficient to perform different kinds of missions, and also being able to carry more weapons than its inspiration. Also, unlike the F-35, the Russian aircraft has a wide body that is propelled by two engines and special wings that help it fly without hassle. It can also perform complex maneuvers like the Pugachev's Cobra and can fly at extreme speed without the need for extra fuel. Its internal storage for weapons means it's more stealthy and can fly farther without being noticed or detected by radar systems. Even the canopy of the cockpit is coated to absorb radar waves and protect the pilot from radiation. These methods make this fighter much less visible to radar compared to older Russian planes like the Su-27. However, it's still more easily detected by certain types of radar used for weather or early warnings. As mentioned earlier, it is powered by two engines called NPO Liolka Saturn, 117, or AL-41F1, augmented turbofans. These engines are the improved versions of the AL-31 and have the ability to produce different amounts of thrust depending on the situation. Also, they are controlled digitally and work with the plane's flight system to make it easier to control. The engines can also change the direction of their thrust to help the jet to maneuver better. The Su-57 uses a special control system that allows its engines to direct thrust in different directions. This helps the fighter jet to perform various maneuvers like rolling and turning quickly. The engine's air intake can change shape to make the plane fly faster, and there are screens to protect it from things that might get sucked in during takeoff and landing. It is armed with various missiles and bombs that it carries internally to maintain its stealthiness. It can carry different types of missiles for air-to-air -air combat and for attacking ground targets. Additionally, it has a built-in autocannon for close-range combat. It has a modern cockpit with no old-fashioned gauges. 
Instead, information is shown on two big screens, similar to the F-35s. There's also a smaller screen and a digital control panel. The cockpit has a special glass display that shows important information in front of the pilot. To control the aircraft, there's a joystick and two throttlers, and most functions can be controlled without taking your hands off them. The canopy of the fighter is made of two parts, with the back part sliding forward and locking in place. It's treated with special coatings to make it harder for radar to detect the plane. The pilot's seat in the Russian fighter is called the NPP Zvezda K36D5 ejection seat. And there's a life support system called Soji 50 that provides oxygen and helps with high G-forces during maneuvers. Also, similar to the F-35, the pilot wears a special helmet with a digital display system that tracks their eyes and helps them see targets from different angles. There's also an oxygen system on board that gives the pilot unlimited oxygen. The ejection seat and flight suit are designed to keep the pilot safe during emergencies, like ejection from different altitudes and speeds. While the F-35 undeniably has unrivaled characteristics, the Russian fighter does as well. Which of these next-generation fighters do you think possesses a superior capability? Thanks for watching. While you are still here, click on the link on your screen to check out another of our videos. See you there.